Hey, 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 family. Welcome back to the channel. How are you all doing? For those of you who've never been here before, I'm Day Silver Silva, and this is my channel. Um, and we're going to talk about the situation with Messy King. If you don't know who that is, that is Carlos. Okay, most of you know. Um, we're going to talk about betrayal, frenemies, fakes, and frauds, because there has been a lot, lot that has recently come out in reference to Messy King over there. Now, I've said this many times before on my previous videos that are taken down now. I've talked about how he has not been a friend to Mel. I feel like he never was a friend to Mel and he still is not a friend to Melody. Okay, because the things that he has done and has shown us. Now, I know a lot of ladies, you know, give, you know, people second, third, fourth, fifth chance. I get that. But in my mind, from what I've always seen, he's always been a frenemy. And the reason why I say that is because we've seen what Messy King has done, okay, when it comes to hotel. Every time in the past, the hotel would issue some type of, um, I should say, uh, strike against his ex-wife. Messy King will come in and try to put him on a pedestal. Now, why would you do that if you are supposedly a friend to Melody? Because I understand when people are friends with couples and then the couple split up and then you just don't want to take a side. I feel like in a lot of situations, you have to take a side. However, I understand for those people who don't want to take a side. But what I saw was... Carlos continued to take a side and his side was in favor of Martel, okay? Because he talked about, you remember on that reunion when he was trying to slay, to say on the reunion that the gutter red trash was the whole kitchen or lunchroom or whatever the hell he called her. Child, I don't even remember. It was such damn nonsense that I can't even remember exactly what he said. Now, I know y'all remember. Go ahead and put it in the chat. Okay, I know y'all do. But whatever that was that he said, first of all, it was insulting. It was disrespectful for you to try to uplift a side chick ass hoe over the wife. For you to constantly try to make people believe that this man gave a damn about the same side chick that he got sitting around for 10 years with a baby, making her a baby mama, okay, a piece of crap somebody he don't care about that he run back to when he ain't got nothing else to run to. I don't care if she was a side chick that kept her mouth shut, even though we know that heifer didn't do nothing but run her mouth, okay? But even if she was one that kept her mouth shut, the fact that he tried to put her in a position over the wife by acting like or saying out of his mouth that this woman was the whole lunchroom, or cafeteria or kitchen or what, whatever the hell he said, child. I don't even remember. It was such bullshit. I can't even remember it. Nonetheless, that was the first incident that I noticed that I was like, hmm, why in the hell would he say that when he's supposed to be there, friends? Aren't you the same man that said that you would be there for Melody when she was ready to quit the show? Weren't you the one that said you had her back and you would be there for her? And then you get your behind on stage in front of an audience and you want to uplift the side chick. Child, that right there told me all I needed to know. Because no friend of mine is, would ever, okay, ever make it seem like if I was involved with somebody that the side chick was over above me. That makes absolutely no sense. Nonetheless, he still wanted to pretend like he was Melody's friend, like he's been doing, okay? He's been playing both sides of the fence. And what I mean by that is he gets around Martel and it's something different. I'm sorry. Let's call him Hotel. <clears throat> Excuse me. I got a little cold, y'all. But he gets around you know, hotel and he, there's one, you know, a whole different side of him. Like we see him do with everybody. Okay. Anybody that sits in front of this man, he kisses up to them. To me, that's not a genuine person. You just kiss up to everybody. Everybody's the queen. Everybody is the, you know, the head be in charge. Everybody is, you know, all wonderful and all that. Everybody that he sits in front of, it's all the same until they're not around him, then it's totally different. 
The other thing is he has sat in front of her and he has told us the melameters. Yes, I said I'm a melameter. He has told us how they are friends, but I didn't hear Melody co-signing on that friendship. Melody would just laugh at him because she knew deep down in her heart that this man was not her friend. And although she never really spoke on it, you know, she said things here and there. She never really spoke on it until she did that collaboration with him, you know, where he was supposed to have this tour that he was setting up until they were at that tour. And that's when she exposed him. Now, in my opinion, Messy King is a narcissist too, okay? And I know we use this word a lot when it comes to people in general, but child, this is just my opinion because I think he has this grandiose image of himself, okay? He thinks he's something that he's not. In my opinion, he is a narcissist right along with the rest of those no good for nothing fools on that show. Now, we know for sure, or at least I do, I don't know about you, but I feel like he's most definitely her frenemy. And since we're talking about frenemies, because you know that is the title of this video, Carlos' friend or frenemy. He is her frenemy, in my opinion. Now, let's look up real quickly what a frenemy means, because, you know, some people don't know what that means. They assume. And I like to look up things. I like to show some facts if I can. So let's pull this up because I went out of the way. Oh, I'm sorry. I pulled that up too quick. I'm going to show you that in a minute, though. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. OK, a frenemy is a complex kind of relationship that is negative for both parties involved. It is a relationship that is often negative. Steeped in situational ties and shared connections. Now, you see the situational ties is Melody being the star of the show only because he has to, in my opinion, only because he has to deal with her and she's the star of the show that he tries to act like he's her friend, but he really isn't because of the situational ties and their social connection, their shared social connection. It goes on to say that Awali appears friendly, but is fraught with underlying competition, jealousy, or distrust. Now, haven't we seen him act in ways and say things that seems like there's some jealousy? Just like I said, when he tried to put the gutter red trash up on a, on a pedestal over top of Melody, who was the wife. To me, it's some jealousy involved because... You know, people saw Melody's bright, shining star. And I don't think Messy King liked that. See, the rest of those cast members on that show, they look at him like he's the king. You know, he called himself the king of reality. He is the messy king of reality, in my opinion. But because he wanted to be king, and in most, you know, situations, people see the king over the queen, right? Especially in this community. And because Melody... To most people or her melameters, I shouldn't say most people, to the melameters, we see her as queen, right? We're all queens. I see all of us as queens, honey. I'm a queen too. I'm not beneath anybody. But I respect her position and the way that she has handled this very toxic divorce that she has been going through and all the other things she has gone through. So there to me is a jealousy because he wants her to see him in a way that the rest of those fraudulent, fraud, shysters see him, right? And I don't think she sees him that way. To me, what well, she sees him as an equal, maybe, maybe not even an equal, but to me, Melody can hold her own. She don't need to go and call him every day like he Wanted to tell all of us, oh, they call me every, I talk to my cast every day. They call me because they called him. What did he say? I believe he said he was like their daddy. Ain't that what he said? And Melody has not had to call him because she don't need you as her daddy. But let's go on. A friend of me can be a friend or a colleague, a friend, a colleague, or even a family member. Dynamics of a friendly relationship are characterized by a mix of affection and resentment, and cooperation, and competition. Don't he show affection to her? And then he do things as if he resents her, okay? Don't he show cooperation? And then there is a competition 
from what I see, just like when, you know, she did this collab with him and she met up with him. She told him exactly what she felt. And I shouldn't say she told him exactly, but she told him some of the things that she had been feeling. I believe Melody felt a lot more than what she told him, but she told him just enough and she did it in front of all of us. And he quickly said he, you know, he didn't know, which is a lie, because unless he's child blind, deaf and dumb, there's no way he did not know. OK, the rest of us knew he knew, too. How you watch everybody damn show on TV, especially Bravo, the Bravo shows, and you don't know what's going on in your show. Lies. OK, that's why I put liar and deceiver up here, because that's exactly what he is. Now, let's go on. It says experts define friend of me as a friend who doesn't have your best interests at heart, betrays your trust, messes with your confidence or belittles your success. Now, if that don't sound like messy king, honey, I don't know what do because it sounds like everything in there. And what I wrote is exactly who he is. So much so that what has happened lately is a lot of the channels on YouTube have been struck that are millimeter channels. And people have been asking who's striking the channels? Why are they striking the channels? Why are they attacking the millimeters? <clears throat> well, I feel like it's payback. Okay. Because the millimeters talk too much, meaning to them, to the enemy and her frenemies, we talk too much. Cause what do we do? We go and pull all their lies. We expose their lies. We come out in Melody's defense whenever we feel like she's being attacked, okay? When she's being, um, people are trying to show her in a negative light. We're right there, okay? We are right there surrounding her like an army, making sure that nobody comes in and tears down her image, lies, tell lies, and, and put things out that's not going to be good for her business, okay? We're right there. No matter what they say about us, no matter who said, it, we don't care. We stand on our square and we are not to be moved. And I think, in my opinion, he doesn't like it like so many others. So much so that this is now surfaced because people asked about the strikes now, <clears throat> This was on sent to me from Instagram, and I forget the, the young lady's uh, Instagram post where it came from. If you all know, you know, you can put it in the comments. But this was put up, okay, because people have been asking about the copyright strikes. Now, for those of you who don't know, um, probably maybe five months ago or so, maybe going on six months now, my channel was struck. But it was struck in a way that I did not get a copyright strike on one video. And I was not told who did the copyright striking on my video, okay, on any of the videos. And so I said this before, I had a mentor that I talked to. And because I wanted to, when I decided, and I could have took care of it a lot sooner, but I chose not to because I was deciding if I wanted to continue to cover the show, right? And so I decided, you know, I'm going to let this go so that I can come back on here and continue to talk and get paid for. And I said this before, and I'll say it again. I don't work for free. Okay. I don't give a damn if it's Google, YouTube or whoever. I don't work for free. What other people do is their business. I expect to get paid on here. So what I did was I removed all of my videos and I started over. Now let's get back to this copyright strike. As you can see, there's a copyright strike here. And we're just going to go through a little bit of this copyright strike for those of you who are not content creators. It says one copyright strike. A copyright owner asks us to take down your video because they believe it contains material that violates their copyright. As a result, your video was removed from YouTube. Your channel received a strike. If you get three copyright strikes, your account, along with any associated channels, will be subject to termination. Let me read that one more time. Your channel received a strike. If you get three copyright strikes, your account along with any associated channels will be subject to termination. That means this is a three strike rule and you're out. So they've already gotten one copyright strike. If they get two more, everything that they have worked to put on YouTube 
gets taken down. But not only do it get taken down, the whole channel disappears. Do you hear what I'm saying? The whole entire channel will be completely removed from YouTube along with all of their hard work. Now, let's go down to the bottom where it says content removed. The following videos have been removed from YouTube due to copyright strike takedown requests. Strike on January 31st, 2024, expires in 79 days. Content removed by Carlos Messias King. You see this? So let me get this strike. I mean, let me get this right. I said strike. Let me get this right because um, you struck a channel for some content. And according to what I saw on the rest of it, because I just copied this part, the person says that the content that he struck was not even his original content. Now, I didn't see the content. I don't know if it was or if it wasn't. But I feel like this. Messy King is in a space with content creators. He is making hand over fist money on YouTube, okay? Hand over fist. He also have, you know, been making money from Love and Merge Huntsville, which the Melometer support heavily in support of Melody. So you mean to tell me that you're going to strike a content creator because all of us over here on, on uh, this watch at LAMH are small content creators, okay? We're, we're very small to medium small. I don't see none of us that's, that has hit 100,000 um, views yet. So we're all small content creators, okay? At different levels of being small, right? So you mean to tell me that you who gets hundreds of thousands of views on your videos that most of us do not get. If, if I'm going to step out and say none of us get hundreds of thousands or, you know, in the hundred thousands, maybe one or so, I don't know, but I haven't seen any content creator that got a hundred thousand views or more on a video. Um, so you get video, you have videos where you have gotten hundreds of thousands of views because of other women helping you, meaning the people that he bring on are black women that he's been bringing on like Nene Leaks, you know, people like that, who the people are coming to see. They ain't coming to see him. They come to see Nene Leaks and women like that who have helped him build his channel based on them being reality stars. So you mean to tell me that you're going to strike a small content creator's channel? You know what strike means. And that means that they have two more chances before if they get struck two more times, all of their hard work gets deleted by YouTube. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Not the, just the videos, the entire channel gets taken down and they don't have no choice if they get these strikes and they can try to fight it. But just the thought of, let, let's think about that. So you're on YouTube investing your time, okay? Supporting Melody doing the videos, supporting LAMH, and everybody on the cast gets to make money, including you, Messy King, but you go out of your way to strike this person's channel. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? So again, Messy King has shown his face, just like a snake, he rears his ugly head when he gets a chance to, and he strikes. And to me, that's exactly what he did in this situation. Because why would you do that to a small content creator? Why? Now, let's read and see what this person can do. They says, do nothing. Strikes expire after 90 days. As long as you, as long as you something, I can't see the rest because it's cut off. Okay. <clears throat> so you see this person has 79 days before it expires. So they can do nothing, which means the strike will stay on their channel and it will go towards that three strike rule. Okay. They did say that they were going to fight the strike and hopefully they'll let us know. They did say they would keep us informed to let us know if the strike is removed again, according to this person, they said this wasn't even his original content. Uh, it says request a retraction and submit a counter notification. Deleting the video will not remove the strike. So they can't even go and delete their, their videos to remove the strike. Now, in my case, where I said they didn't tell me exactly who did it, and I termed this a soft strike. So there's two ways to get strikes. There's a strike that goes against your channel. 
the way this one is where you got the three strike rule and then there are strikes where you can go and delete the video or you can edit the video and your channel will still be monetized. You won't be, you won't have a hard strike. I call this strike, the three strike rule, I call a hard strike. For me, I took down all of my videos because I didn't know what video they had an issue with, right? And so I took them all down, but I don't have any strikes against my channel. It was a soft strike, okay? So this person though, if they decided to delete that one video, it still won't matter. The strike still stays on their channel. Now, unless they can fight this strike and get rid of it and, you know, go against what he's saying and YouTube approves it, then this strike will stay. And I got a feeling that the strike is going to stay. I hope, you know, and I pray for this person that the strike is removed because who wants to work only for their hard earned time to seem like it went to waste? Now, I talked about time, okay? Time is the one thing we cannot get back. I'm going to keep saying that. You can't get it back. You can't pray for it back. You can't pay for it back, okay? You can't steal it back. Once time goes by, that time is lost. It's like your birthday come and you turn to age and you want to turn back the hands of times. You can't. And I think it is very disturbing to me to know that this man struck a channel that is in support of Melody, but your Melody's friend. Ain't that what you said? Then you want to call the Melometer something combined with the raindrops or something to act like we're all one. We're all one, but this is what you do. That's because you messy and you ain't no damn good. And you're not her friend. You're her friend of me. And I hope that Mel now sees and understands that this man don't keep his word. She just did a, 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 a collab with you and had all the millimeters came out in support. Okay. Well, you made money. It seems like to me, it was a money grab. And I feel like he did it in spite because where are these other destinations that you supposed to go to? Weren't you supposed to have some type of tour or something? A messy King tour. Where are the other cities that you're supposed to go to? <clears throat> I'm starting to feel like it was a setup. It was a, it was a money grab. He got the millimeters. The millimeters showed out. I think he also wanted to see how they show would show up and show out. The millimeters showed up and showed out, honey. They was there for Melody, and I don't think he likes it. Just like the rest of the people on the show. That's what I feel like. Jealousy and envy. I've been saying it for the longest. Jealousy and envy. I want to say this to you ladies before I go, because I didn't mean for this video to be this long. I will be doing more pre-recorded though, so you can just hear my thoughts and hopefully you'll come back. I want you to stop trusting people when they show you who they are, believe them. I want you to stop having faith and giving people chance after chance after chance after chance. That's what I want you ladies to do. I want you to stop putting yourself first. I want you to start having self-preservation and, and start seeing a demon for who he is. For seeing a jealous, envious, envious ass person for who they are. And stop giving people second and third and fourth and fifth chances. That's what I want. One of the things that Melody said when she was talking, she said that the people close to her told her don't charge it to her heart. Okay. Because of Messy King, because she pretty much not her words exactly, but from what I heard, it she was pretty much done with him. Okay, she was like, "Look, I see what it is. You're not trying to protect me from this man. You or on. I see what this is. So, okay, I'm good with it. I'm done with it. We're gonna be coworkers, and that's it. Then he's up there, oh, me, like acting like he's surprised. You know, you ain't no damn good, and you know you don't care nothing about that woman. You know you don't." But as long as she can bring in those those funds, OK, and you can get some cash, you can get a bag off of her. You're going to pretend like you're there for her, but your actions show differently. So to me, ladies, if a person is saying one thing out their mouth and their actions is showing something totally different, I want you to pay attention to their actions and their words. If they don't align up, you should not be 
listening to anything that comes out of that person's mouth. If you want to become a content creator, please reach out to me. I give one-on-one training to become a content creator. And I also have an ebook that you can purchase so that you can walk through the process on your own. Now, I've taken time out from growing my channel just so that I can help others come on here and get, you know, a YouTube check. In spite of all this nonsense that's going on, YouTube still is a very good place to come and make another stream of income. I'll, I'll never say that is not because it is okay. I've made good money on here. And so have some of the other content creators, you know, and messy King is trying to stop our bag, honey, I, you know, selfishness. But anyway, if you want to become a content creator, you can reach out to me at day silver talk show at gmail.com. Okay. That's the silver talk show at gmail.com. As a matter of fact, here is the cover of my ebook and you see my email address here. Just reach out to me at the email address and let me know if you want the ebook or one-on-one -on -one training or both. Let me know because I am running a special. So let me know what you think about all this mess that has been going on. And I will talk to you in another video soon. Thank you for being here. Also, please subscribe to the channel. Please um, like, share and subscribe and i will be seeing you on another video soon bye fam you do to make me stay now it's like you don't even try i used to wonder why but now i'm left with no more tears to cry i know that life can be busy love but you make time for the ones you love it's only right it's what i deserve love tell me It's what I deserve Love Tell me what you're doing